Hey guys, Frosty here. Um, sorry I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. Uh, I have been filming. Uh, I know I say a lot in my film and my videos that I'm gonna that's gonna follow this little opening. Uh, I was going to the thrift stores almost every day. Uh, I've got a couple personal grails out of this. I've uh, made a couple good connections. So uh, here's my adventures for the last couple of weeks, and I hope you enjoy. Also, uh, sorry, I just left Value Village. This is the 22nd of January, and uh, I picked this bad boy up for $3.99. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to get strung up when I get home by my old lady, uh, but... I couldn't leave it behind for $3.99. There's just something, it's just got that wow. You hear that Oracrina music, you hear Zelda, you know, it's, it's, it's got a chain for hanging it on the back. So, as you can see here, but it also got some mounts which are screwed on. Uh, I'll probably take the mounts off and try and either resell it or, uh, Hang it on my own wall and see if I can get away with it. Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, enjoy the video. Alright guys, we're headed into nearly new and used thrift. Sorry if I sound funny, I have to wear a mask, so see you in there. Hello. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Personal grail found today. It's a record uh, from 1980. Did I break it? Oh my god. 1985, and this thing is sealed. It is sealed up tight, so yeah, glad to get that. Hey guys, Frosty Flips here. I'm back again. Uh, sorry I didn't do much filming at the other stores. I will give you a recap of what I bought today. I bought this Mickey Mouse 2017 Disney Parks. Uh, 1991 Leonardo Sewer, City Sewer. I, I forget what these do. They did something and I can't remember what it was. Uh, this Ren and Stimpy sealed box set. Uh, that was all from Value Village. I spent, I think, $10 there on these three items. So this this and this are probably going to be kept personal. That's a resale. Uh, these three alone will get me about 50 bucks. If I had the other three, it would be about 120 Canadian. But uh, I'm really not trying to do pricing right now because I can only list so much right now. And this stuff here came from Nearly New. I got One Punch Man 14, I paid a dollar for it. One Punch Man 13, paid a dollar for that one as well. Uh, great courses, writing great fiction. Some of these do really well. I never looked it up because I was talking with the manager there. Complete in box, Hot Shots Golf 3. This is going into a PS2 lot that I have that we're selling on Facebook Marketplace. Lost Planet 2. Unfortunately, it was sad to say I've never played this one. I've played one and three, but never two. I've n never got around to it. Fear 2 Project Origin, uh, $3, as you can see, with the slip cover. So, Chicken Shoot, it's complete. 
and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, or Underground 2, sorry. Uh, it's backwards. <laughs> but it is complete. And, sorry, sorry about that. To make it an even $20, I bought this Edgar Allan Poe. Eight Tales of Terror. I like horror novels. So, that was Value Village. And barely new and used and then you've seen a little bit of the footage of what I picked up at the Super Thrift. I got another Goosebump book for the collection. These two are for my own personal movie collection. My copy of this is destroyed and it's one of my funniest, like one of my favorite uh, movies. Same thing with this. I've never had this. I have it on VHS but not DVD so that's going into my personal collection. And then you see me find my grill, guys. Uh, this is completely sealed. It's from 19, 1985, as you can see right there. And I think I'm just going to frame this and put it on the wall as it is. Or I may try and reach out to a guy that I know that collects Motu and uh, see if he may want to buy this from me. Because to the right collector, this could be worth quite a bit. Don't pay attention to that because I only spent $15 there. Due to the fact that I have a bunch of their $10 off coupons. And this stuff here is from my unit. And from my unit, like extra artworks and stuff for games. I think I might have some of the games loose at the house there. Uh, these are pretty much all sealed DV or VHSs. Some not sealed, but worth some money. Uh, some other stuff here we're just cleaning out the unit and getting rid of the stuff that we don't plan on selling anymore so but other than that guys hang on a second here hey guys about to head into the brandon thrift shop the mcc thrift uh i just left value village and i thought i was recording in there and what i was doing was i was recording and i was stopping it when i thought i was recording and I did a backwards video. You're getting all the... So, I will show you guys what I got from there when I get home. And let's go in here and see what they have today. I already see some Barney. Nutcracker. They have for games today. They've got sorry, all the same stuff that was here the last time I was here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Be all right away. Find a random oh, Sims. What's this? Keeper 2. I always try and look through these. Oh, NHL slap shot. We fit. How many times do we see this in thrift stores? Almost anyone we go to. Value Village just had like 10 copies. So. C plus C plus plus. Yeah, nothing. Star Wars collection. They used to be worth something, now they're not worth anything. Jackie Chan's best fights and greatest stunts. That might be worth something. But I'm being very selective of what I sell now. So, but I'm always on the hunt for that elusive cars paperback. I seen it once and somebody else had already had it in hand, so. of this stuff, right? What's over here? They tend to stay away from a lot of the uh, different I don't know how to put it. Yeah, I'm wearing my muddy shoes today. It's been bad all day. Oh, what's this? VHS holder. 
We got 10 bucks a piece on these M300 routers. Are they open? Yeah, they're used. Wiring clocks. Bunch of cords. I'll dig this in a minute and see if there's anything I need. Like, for a second I thought this was a, oh, that's for an Xbox 360 right there. What is this? Oh, it's a hard drive transfer table for two bucks. I might have to grab that. Five dollars. I don't know if it's worth my time shipping it though. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, oh, they still have this TV here, too. I like this. This is a little 13-inch, uh, but it has uh, the old coax on it, so it's a little flat screen that I could use for testing older consoles. I'm going to take a look at this guitar and see if it has its dongle and stuff, and see if it's worth picking up. All right, talk to you in a bit, guys. Okay guys, just left Super Thrift. As you can see, it was 50% off there. So I paid $7.46 for the Darkness 2 body count and TMNT Master Splinters training pack. So, whew, getting too big for this stuff, too old. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've got an Instacart right now, so I'll uh, talk to you guys if I hit up another thrift store or not. If not, you'll see me for a recap. Well, well, well. Let's see what's here today. interested in that but <laughs> not one of those like that oh. let's see what this one's going to guys well guys that uh that uh konami classics this literally got cracked all the way through the main case i'll show you here stuff that was here yesterday so we'll get that one because it sells for about 25 and I do believe it's 50% off today lots of CDs I heard this is a good one to try and sell but 
It's, P, it's P90X, right? Yeah, beach body and you can't sew it on. Can't sell that on eBay. I'm not gonna risk getting another account blocked. So, I have a bunch of tie bowl there. Uh, they got a few things in today since yesterday. 50 Great Westerns, Heroes and Bandits. Rome, that was a good series. His first two seasons there. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Lasted $7.99 on that. Holy. What's this? Focus T25, get it done. Another beach body. Can't sell that. <sighs> well, well, well. Oh, is that a sealed godfather down there? Wow. That is sealed. I might have to pick this up, guys. They also have two there that are also sealed. This is only $7.99, so I'm going to look this up. Let's see what this goes for. A couple Blu-ray players. A little Samsung one. And a little another Samsung. So, let's take a quick look at this and see if it's worth it. Right, guys, I only got one disc. I looked up a couple, uh, a couple, uh, what do you call them, sir? Blu rays. Sorry, you guys don't know. I'm not asking you what they're called. Uh, one of them sold for about 20, but not quite worth it. I still got those turtles here. This spiral's cool, but he's not worth 10 bucks. He's only worth like three dollars. So. Let's see what else is here. We had a bunch of these big monster trucks, but they only sell for like nine dollars. some of these puzzles guys and see if they're worth picking up okay so yeah guys only that game i'm gonna go look in the glass case here real quick and then i'm gonna head to another shop So yeah guys, nothing there today. Uh, they had a couple new games put out, but it was all sports games on the PS4. And uh, got talking to another reseller there that just moved here from Vancouver. And uh, he's like, this town is hard. There's too many of us. <laughs> so 
Uh, see you at the next spot. Okay, guys. Uh, nothing at any of the other thrift stores. I've been to all five of them here in town today. Uh, Omen still has stuff that's overpriced beyond belief. So uh, I'm here outside of I want this or I want that stuff. It's a local collectible store like they sell collector cards autograph stuff like that uh, they do have some video games uh and somebody had messaged me and said hey there's some wii u games there you may need for your collection so i'm going to finish up my cigarette here and i'm going to head inside and see what they have i'll see if i can film a little bit while i'm in there